Good morning everyone. If I look like I have been crying this morning it is because I have and I've not been crying from sadness or upset. They've not been bad tears. They have been tears of laughter and I'm not gonna lie. I can't quite believe I'm about to tell you this story but I'm gonna expose myself here. I don't care. I'm gonna expose myself because it literally had me crying with laughter. I feel like I've still got like leaky eyes from it but basically I sometimes talk in my sleep and it's so funny the next morning because Alex will always tell me like the conversations that we had I always fall asleep before him um so the amount of times that he literally has conversations with me and it's like in my sleep and last night I apparently <laughs> so apparently we were like sleeping like he was so he sleeps on the left if we're in the bed I sleep on the right so I was like face that way and he was face that way and apparently I just like rolled over grabbed his arm and went I died twice <laughs> How'd you die? Um, I don't know. But it happened twice. <laughs> and then we went back over and went back to sleep. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally gonna start crying again. Oh, he literally reenacted it as well. He was like, come here, come into the bed, let me like show you what happened. <laughs> I can't even deal. And I've been talking a lot in my sleep recently, like more than normal. And he's like saying to me, you have been having some really weird dreams recently. Like, what are you thinking about in your sleep? What is your subconscious trying to tell you? Why have you been having such weird dreams? I would love to know why we talk in our sleep. Like, why is it we can have full on conversations and completely be asleep, like not remember any of them. Apparently sometimes I even open my eyes. So he's not even sure if I'm like awake or asleep. But last night, oh my God, he said that was one of the funniest situations he's ever been in when i've been talking in my sleep i'm literally crying just thinking about it it's so so funny it's also the fact that like because he obviously knows i'm asleep and he knows i'm just having like a weird dream that he just kind of like plays along with it he says oh so how'd you die <laughs> oh i can't even deal but um good morning yeah so that's how my morning's going so far apparently i died twice in my sleep last night and wanted to tell alex all about it um just been getting myself ready today it's just a little bit of a chill casual day i've not really styled my hair much i feel like i'm quite enjoying just leaving at the moment i i kind of feel like maybe i should get some more layers put in because i think when you've got layers around the front you don't have to like style them up as much you don't have to worry as much about like how it kind of like falls i feel like the layers just kind of like blend themselves in together so i'm not really sure what to do with that but i'm loving my makeup this morning i've just gone really really light really natural really neutral and i'm really loving the lip combo i'm doing at the moment and it is super super simple so of course i'm using my clinique lip liner this is the lip liner in intense blush and what i really love about the clinique ones is it's a twist up you don't have to sharpen it i hate having to sharpen my lip liners i just find that they're either too blunt they're too sharp there's never an in-between and the other thing that i'm putting on top is not even a colored lipstick it's just the bobby brown extra lip tint in bare pink and when they say that this is bare pink they really oh that's about to roll off the table when they say this is bare pink like they really mean it. it's literally basically just looks like a balm like there's not really any color so i literally just line my lips add this and it just makes them look a lot like juicier and more natural it is the definition of your lips but better kind of a look and i'm really really enjoying it so that is my current makeup and talking about makeup i've actually had a new delivery arrive this morning that i thought that we could unbox together um which i think i know what this i think this is a new beauty lodge from laura mercy i'm not totally sure how i'm supposed to get into the box though see brands sometimes do not make it easy for us but it is indeed a laura mercier press release so this is the new light catcher translucent loose setting powder it's a 12 hour luminous light creating finish with weightless formula sets makeup while the multi-dimensional pearl blends perfect skin pore blurring and skin smoothing and no photo flashback it comes in three shades we've got celestial light honey star and cosmic rose is it just me or have they already released this i feel like i already have something really similar to what that sounds like in here yeah, Honey Sar, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. But this is a light catcher, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. So I think it must be that they've updated the formula a little bit to make it a little bit more like glowy and chewy. Oh, we've got a couple of extra goodies in here as well. So this is the powder right here and they have sent me the shade Celestial Light, which is the lightest color. 
<laughs> very fitting um so it comes in this beautiful box which is like really shiny and really pretty in itself and it's such a gorgeous packaging it's really similar actually to the honey star one that i've got i feel like these are two really lovely colors and i think this is just going to be a bit more just a bit more like glowy on the skin i kind of want to test it out just to see what it is actually like i do like the laura mercier powders but the only thing i do find them is they don't travel well because obviously it's a loose powder so it comes like this the way that i tend to do my powders i feel like everyone's different but i just kind of do a little tappy tap in the lid swirl that around i actually learned this from um bare minerals from their mineral powder foundation and just pat on oh yeah i like that it's not taking away shine but it's just kind of just kind of blurring my makeup a little bit that's really really lovely i feel like that's going to be a nice one for going into spring so that's a perfect shade match for me you know what? actually this is probably going to be perfect for now and then i can go back to my honey start when it comes to my summer tan <laughs> and then we've also got in here a couple of all the caviar eye color sticks oh gorgeous we've got strike a rose and a bed of roses i must say i feel like no one can match laura mercier with their shade names i think i already have striker rose so i might actually give this one to my mum because i do love this and she always compliments me when i wear it it's a really really gorgeous like rosy pinky shade it's so so perfect i really like these as well actually if you're traveling i do sometimes find that you know when you go on like an overnight trip and you don't want to bring a full makeup bag but you still obviously want to bring enough that you can do your makeup you can look pretty i feel like these are perfect to bring because you don't have to bring like a full palette um you can just kind of blend these together so this one is bed of roses i don't think i own this one but that's really gorgeous it's just a little bit deeper yeah a little bit deeper than strike a rose another really gorgeous like pinky blush but with a little bit of like a mauve running through it so that is so so beautiful i really love these especially for like spring summer as well it's so great when you want just a little bit of a lighter makeup which i've actually gone for today so these would have been perfect to have used this morning but i'm really in love with that powder actually i'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and like oh that is really smoothed out my skin i feel like i'm glowing but like i'm not shiny i'm loving it and then lastly this morning i have a couple of bits to show you from pandora i placed a little order and i do say a little order as you can see from the box there's literally two things in here but i saw a couple of bits on the website that i just fell in love with that i wanted to add to my stack so first of all is a bracelet and i saw this and was like you know what i feel like that will be the perfect match i feel like i've really like gotten quite a almost like a capsule wardrobe with my jewelry i know that sounds really really weird but there's like pieces that i like to start with and then i kind of build from there one of those pieces is of course my favorite snake chain bangle which i absolutely love and i really love the fact that in this side i've got like two bangles stacked together and i really really love them this is the brilliance bangle paired with just like a little silver bangle and i kind of wanted to get a bracelet that i could layer on top of this that would really really work that would match that so i saw this one online i thought that is absolutely perfect and it's this gorgeous little number so it's kind of got these like multi chains to it it's got the classic pandora closure so the kind of like white ball which i really like although i must admit whenever they first arrive they're always so stiff i always get so worried about ruining my nail polish just dropped it there but what i thought i could do is basically style these up together and i thought that they would look really really beautiful because obviously one's got a little bit more movement to it and then one's kind of got a bit more texture so i thought that they would pair so nicely oh i love those paired together i don't know how well you're going to be able to see it but that is so beautiful i went a size down because i like my bangles to be a little bit looser and i always love it when the bracelets can kind of crisscross over each other i feel like it just looks a little bit more natural but that pairs so so beautifully together i am absolutely in love now i know i'm wearing some very silver jewelry right now but i've got a new piece that i wanted to add to my collection and it's a gold piece now pandora obviously have so many different like ranges they've got different price points and when it comes to their gold they've got some items that are gold plated and some items that are solid gold if you're looking for something that could be like a really really special present some of their solid gold pieces are absolutely beautiful when i saw these online i was like oh wow that is stunning so it's this gorgeous pair of solid gold huggy hoops i mean look at that they're like the shiniest most beautiful thing i think i've ever ever seen 
oh my word i love them they're just like so subtle and so perfect and what i quite like about these is i feel like because they're obviously huggy they've not got a butterfly back they like completely encompass your ear you can leave them on like they're the kind of thing that you can put on again say you're going on holiday say you're going away for the weekend and you don't want to have to like bring a jewelry box you can literally leave these on overnight you can sleep in them they're so comfortable and they are so beautiful oh those are such perfect additions into my jewelry collection as i said i feel like i've really got this like capsule wardrobe kind of vibe when it comes to my jewelry so i have these like basis that i start from the kind of like foundations of what i like to wear my like everyday pieces and then i can elevate the look from that i can stack i can build i can add a little bit of drama and i really really love that so i will link those pieces down below along to a link to just my favorite items on pandora at the moment if you do want to shop any of them but i think those are such gorgeous additions to my collection <gasps> yeah! i have just had something super super exciting arrive i've been waiting for this for a couple of days and i just could not wait to unbox this with you as you can see it is from one of my favorite favorite bag brands Demelier, and i have a couple of Demelier bags actually one of them is currently at my mum's she borrowed it about two months ago and i have not received it back yet so it was not featured in my um bag collection video because i've kind of accepted that it's kind of hers now the other one that i've got is this gorgeous one here i absolutely love it. it's like a toffee color i absolutely love the style of it i feel like they really have nailed that style it's the new york style i think it is so this is actually another bag as a part of their new york style but this is more of a evening bag this is something that i'm really excited to use for like date nights and things like that let me just see what the um low card says thank you for choosing Demelier. empowering women ethically and sustainably made i didn't actually know that all Demelier pieces are ethically made in our trusted factories in italy and spain using the finest sustainably sourced materials all of our leathers are a byproduct of the food industry that would otherwise go to waste and are a responsible source mainly from europe usa and australia with the majority being top rated gold or silver by the leather working group I did not know that so if you are looking for a sustainable bag definitely check out Demelia. i love their products and they're actually like such a good price point i would definitely put them in the kind of like mid price pointed area they come absolutely beautifully packaged and they really are such high quality if you're looking for a bag that's like so much less branded it's not so much of a you know like um monogrammed kind of obvious designer bag i would definitely recommend checking this out it would also make a beautiful present we have got mother's day coming up in the middle of march so that's something to start thinking about but let me show you her because she is absolutely gorgeous now she takes a lot of my boxes she is the perfect size she is the new york in the mini oh, i just got a peek of her she is beautiful oh my word oh my word i wish i owned her for christmas because she would have been such a perfect little festive handbag but look at her so i got her in the gorgeous like sparkly gold and i feel like she really is going to make the perfect date night evening handbag when you really want to make a statement you know me i love an all black outfit i love a really like toned down outfit something quite like simple and elegant but i do love making a statement so whether it's shoes or a bag i feel like this is just the perfect way to do that i'm going to take the plastic off of this because i know for a fact she is not going anywhere i'm definitely keeping this beauty because she is just stunning so if i open her up so she's got these kind of like three poppers it's exactly the same as my toffee colored one that i've got just much smaller and obviously in a different color so she's got a really like good amount of space in there i definitely think you'll be able to fit your phone your keys your your lipstick your perfumes hand sanitizer anything that you need obviously i always have to think about my vlogging camera so she's going to fit all of that love the fact that she's got feet as well i know i chat about this a lot um but i really do hate it when posh handbags don't have feet especially you know when you go out at a restaurant they don't always offer you somewhere to put your bag i know some places will like give you a chair but not all of them do um and so i really don't like having to put my bag on the floor if it doesn't have feet on it so i love the fact that this has got gorgeous feet at the bottom love the gold hardware and also what i've seen a lot of girls do which i do think is cool you can undo this and kind of wear it a little bit more like loose and casual and open which i think is beautiful personally i prefer to do it up and i like it to be a little bit more kind of like 
pulled together but styled with like an all black outfit she is just absolutely stunning and actually as long as i pair some more gold jewelry with her i think she's going to look so so beautiful again she's got the crossbody strap as well if you do want to wear her but i think i would probably just tuck that in i probably wouldn't bother taking it off i would just tuck it in wear her like this for a gorgeous evening look i am so in love with her another absolute beauty to add to my collection so i'll link this as well as just to the demelier homepage. definitely go and check out their handbags because if you are looking for a new bag to add to your collection they have so many stunning designs i feel like sometimes it's quite hard to see sizes against me i always get people comment on like things looking bigger next to me so just to compare sizes i'm going to put her next to the ysl cassandra because i feel like that is quite a well known like sized bag so they are quite similar in size actually it's a little bit wider but then a little bit shorter but it's so so beautiful and actually because of the shape of this i definitely think you're going to be able to fit more in this one than i do my cassandra but i just thought i would put them side by side so that you can see sizes because i always get comments and questions about like how big things are the ratio the perspective so just to show you size reference she's pretty much the same size as the ysl mini cassandra now I know my outfit today is not exactly giving spring vibes. I've literally got a black jumper on and black leggings, but that being said, I am ready to start getting in the spring spirit. At least I'm starting ready to kind of like plan my spring wardrobe, bring things out that are going to be really helpful in terms of spring styling, accessorizing and things like that. And one thing that I really do feel like it is time for is to bring out my ballet flats to bring out my transitional shoes obviously we're not ready for full-on summer sandals and toes out and all of that vibe but like my ballet flats my loafers things like that i think it's time to bring them out i've been wanting to do this for a couple of days but today I feel like it's time. I'm not gonna lie, I have really bad storage when it comes to my seasonal clothes, but this is where I've got all of my like gorgeous ballet flats, these like Vivaya heels, they're so stunning. I'm so excited to bring these out, my Vivaya ballet flats. We've also got my gorgeous leather ones. Right, I need to get all these out. Okay, so the shoes are out of storage and I'm not gonna lie to you, there's more here than I remember. <laughs> I don't remember owning this many pairs, but now that I've brought them out, I'm like, ah, interesting. I feel like this time of year is really tricky in terms of storage when it comes to especially shoes. I don't have particularly the best shoe storage and especially in the transitional seasons, I find it quite tricky because obviously you're not ready to say goodbye to your boots yet. So you've still got like knee high boots, ankle boots, all of that jazz but you're bringing more out into it because you're ready to start wearing your ballet flats and you're ready to start wearing like more springy kind of transitional footwear. So I think I maybe need to have a little bit of a rethink with regards to my storage. And I might have to say goodbye to some of these. I mean, I absolutely love so many of them, but there's a few that I think could potentially go, potentially these Everlane ones. I didn't wear them all that much because as comfy as they are, I find that rounded toe on me so much less flattering than like a pointed toe. This is a gorgeous pair from M&S that looks so Bottega inspired. I really, really love these. So I could potentially say goodbye to my Everlane ballet flats. I could also potentially say goodbye to my Karen Millen loafers. I'm not the biggest loafer girl. I don't find myself reaching for these very often. I feel like any time that could a loafer could go with the outfit, I usually would rather wear a ballet flat with them. Um, let me just show you actually all of the ones I've got. Oh, also another one that could potentially go. I'm not really sure on my cowboy boots. I got rid of my brown ones because I just never wore them and I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to get the wear out of these this spring. I might, I might just keep them for the time being and then if I don't wear them this spring then officially say goodbye to them. Um, but here we've got my gorgeous tan ones. I picked these up in Portofino. Um, as you can see I've got lots of tan <laughs> ballet flats because I was trying to find the perfect pair and I didn't find these until literally September when we went to Portofino for Alex's brother's wedding. They're real leather, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love them so, so much. In terms of comfort wise though, they are a little bit blistery. I would say if you're looking for a pair of ballet flats, the Vivaya ones are so comfy. I really love this and they're obviously recyclable, they're sustainably made, they're ethical so they are so gorgeous. I've got a pair of Vivaya's 
and another pair of eyes. These black ones are just stunning. If I know that I'm going to be out all day, I'll usually opt for these ones um, over my June ones. Again, love these, but they're just not as comfy. They do just pinch a little bit. And then I've also got my gorgeous Vivaya heeled Chanel-esque. Although weirdly, these ones are slightly big for me. I got them all in the same size, but I find these ones come up a size. So if you're in between sizes, definitely size down. So I think in terms of shoes, I'm going to say goodbye to the Everlanes and the loafers are good to go. The rest of them I definitely am going to get the wear out of this season. And then the cowboy boots will put a question mark next to. So really excited to have my transitional footwear out so that I can officially start planning my spring wardrobe. It is the next morning now. I have just made myself a coffee and I'm just getting ready for the day. I'm not gonna lie. Vlogging took a little bit of a nosedive yesterday. After I got my shoes out, I got really inspired about like prepping and planning my spring wardrobe. And I had a little bit of a clear out of some of my like really thick wintry knits, a few things that I definitely don't need anymore. I do, I don't wanna say I struggle, but I do sometimes find it a little bit tricky when you're the kind of person that loves the transitional period. I know some people love a winter wardrobe and then they love a summer wardrobe and they literally, one day of the year, they just switch them. I'm the kind of person where I love those in-between phases and I love the transitional period. I love wearing chunky knits, but with like maybe a lighter skirt. I love wearing the dress I've been wearing all winter, but instead of boots, I wear it with ballet flats. Like I really, really love utilizing the entirety of my wardrobe and I think I maybe need to have a little bit of a think about how I'm kind of storing and how I am utilizing my space just to make sure that I'm kind of making the most of it and maybe keeping out a few more things that I want to so that it doesn't have to be like completely put away in storage so started doing that last night and vlogging completely fell off the bandwagon because I was just in the zone but I'm feeling very inspired now and I'm really really excited about this prospect of wearing my spring items and bringing out my spring wardrobe I've just gone for a little bit of a slick back egghead bun today um i'm wearing the gorgeous little gold hoops again at the moment which i really really love and i've just paired it with a few like gold tones i've got a gold chain bracelet on and my gold brilliance ring just so that i can really bring in those silver and gold tones together i love being able to do that but with regards to my hair i'm not sure what it is but i'm really struggling with the greasiness of my hair at the moment i I think it might be because of the fact that I'm doing my hair a little bit differently now. I used to really, with my bob, I'd kind of like style it and that would be it. I wouldn't really touch it because it was just very much like tucked behind my ears. It was quite slicked back um, and away from my face. Whereas now that I'm kind of letting my hair go a little bit looser, I'm letting the layers kind of fall a little bit more. I'm playing with it a lot more. I'm running my fingers through it and kind of like zhuzhing it up. And I think that's really playing a part in how greasy it's been getting. And I wash my hair three times a week. So it's pretty much every other day. I wash it on a Monday night, a Wednesday night, and on a Saturday. And I used to never have an issue with it. Like it's really not that long between washes, especially compared to some girls. But even on like day two hair, I'm finding that my hair is getting really, really greasy. And I'm just really struggling with it at the moment. I'm not one that can use a lot of dry shampoo. I have psoriasis on my scalp, which is why I use a lot of the itchy flaky scalp shampoos from Philip Kingsley. Um, so I can't just like keep dousing it in dry shampoo because it literally will give me the worst psoriasis on my head that I could ever, ever imagine. So it's something that I really need to kind of like start from the roots of the problem. Hey, I did not mean to do that pun, but that was actually quite funny. Um, yeah, I need to find the root of the problem as to why my roots are getting so greasy. So if anyone has any advice to stop your hair getting as greasy as quickly without dry shampoo and without loads of like products that are going to irritate my scalp, please help a girl out because I'm literally washing my hair every two days. And even then it's already getting to the point where like, I'm really, really struggling with that, even on the second day. Obviously don't mind slicking my hair back like this on just like the odd occasion whenever I have to, but I don't want it to become like a really regular thing because it's obviously not good for your hair and it can actually cause hair loss if you do it too much. Um, so I don't want to be having to like resort to this hairstyle every other day. So if anyone has any advice, please help a girl out and let me know because it is, 
is starting to get into a little bit of a problem at the moment but today it doesn't matter I've just gone for the slick back egg head look and it's fine <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit flabbergasted by what I'm holding because I ordered this at like half seven last night and this has already arrived now of course we've been doing lots of chats about spring styling spring prepping and wardrobe planning and i got a little bit inspired last night after i did my clear out i was thinking about like the gaps that i'm missing maybe the things i want to like update or upgrade and what i'm wanting to add into my wardrobe right now and i did a little bit of shopping on river island so i wasn't expecting this to arrive so quickly but i'm very very impressed so let's get into the bag and I can show you what I've been picking up to add into my spring wardrobe okay so if there's one thing that you guys know is so me when it comes to my styling it is a slip skirt but if there's one thing that I realized I was missing it's a plain cream slip skirt who was it that I saw on Instagram that did an entire styling reel dedicated to a cream slip skirt and I just fell in love with every single one of the outfits and I know I talk about this a lot but I really do feel like not only is it really important to change up the materials that you're wearing change up the pieces you're wearing but even just looking at the colors that you're wearing from autumn into winter and then going into spring sometimes especially if you're still in a colder country that's a lot chillier than the uk the temperatures can be really really low but you still want to incorporate those like spring vibes so sure you can wear a very wintry outfit a roll neck jumper and a slip skirt but make it tonal and it's giving spring vibes. Like I really, really love doing that. So I knew that I was missing this from my wardrobe. I've got my gorgeous one with the slit from H&M. That's like a creamy slip skirt, but I don't always want to be having a slit in the skirt. Sometimes I want to be able to wear thermals underneath or knee high boots. I want something that's gonna keep me really nice and warm. So when I saw this one on River Island, I fell in love with it. I love the fact that it's got an elasticated stretchy waistband as well. So it's gonna be super, super comfy. Now this is actually a maxi length and I'm kind of loving this trend at the moment of the more maxi satin skirts rather than midis because i do find them super flattering this should i get from the petite section no it's just from the normal but it looks like it's going to be a really really lovely length i feel like there are just so many kind of ways that you can wear these skirts for spring i can already think of thousands of outfits that i'm going to create out of this skirt oh my goodness me how gorgeous is this skirt the first thing i actually need to tell you is i put on black underwear today i didn't <laughs> didn't think I was going to be unboxing the River Island haul, so I've got black underwear on, you can't see it. So first of all, very impressed with the quality of the skirt and just how thick it is. Second of all, I'm in love with the length. So I've just got it up to my waist, like literally where I would normally wear, and it's such a beautiful length. I've just put on a gorgeous pair of little boots, but of course, as soon as the weather starts to get a bit warmer, change it up for your ballet flats, and you have got a gorgeous spring look. So I've paired it with this gorgeous little cable knit. This is quite an old one from H&M, and I love how it looks with the skirt, because obviously it is a very thick neck with a maxi skirt. Like, that could be seen as very wintry, but because of the tones, because of this, like, lighter colour palette we've gone for, it just looks so much more spring appropriate. So I really love doing this with my outfits just looking at the color palette that i'm adding in what i'm wearing the tones of the outfit i just think it really really helps you kind of incorporate that new season styling into your look so skirt is definitely going to be getting a lot of wear this season okay now this next one was a little bit of a whim but i already have something similar to this in my watch and i feel like it's not quite right it's not quite oversized and loose and baggy enough so when i saw this one on river island i was like oh i've just got to give it a try it's this really gorgeous pinstripe oversized blazer and I didn't realize until it arrived actually but it's got tucked up sleeves so it looks like you rolled up the sleeves but they stay put and I love that I've seen a lot of girls that have been like talking about these bands that you can get where you basically it's almost like putting a hairband around your wrist and then you can pull the sleeve up and it makes your blazer sleeve stay so clever but I love the fact that this is pinned so you don't have to worry about doing that the only thing is I ordered it in a 14 so I wanted it oversized and I didn't realize it was already oversized so this is huge like this looks like it could fit alex but we're gonna give it a try we're gonna see how it looks i'm envisioning styling this up with like some white shirt dresses something really really tonal for ready to go into spring i feel like ballet flats also look really cute i feel like oversized blazers can look really androgynous depending on how you style them but they can be really super feminine and really super lovely so i'm excited to style this up and see how this can incorporate into my spring wardrobe i wasn't actually planning on styling up the blazer this way but i've just chucked it on with the outfit i had on before the gorgeous little slip skirt with the cable knit and i'm in love 
I'm absolutely in love. I don't think it looks too oversized at all. I love the fact that the sleeves are like rolled up. So we've got the cable knit poking out, but obviously as soon as we go into the warmer months and as soon as we kind of hit March, I think a white shirt dress underneath would look so, so beautiful with this. I've also just added my little Vivaya ballet flats and look how cute it looks it really just pulls the outfit in together this is really giving me like office chic i really really like it so i think the blazer might just have to stay because it just works so beautifully i really do love a pinstripe blazer i think they're so classic and timeless yeah really trendy actually they're very on trend at the moment which i really really like so paired with some white accessories underneath it's just the cutest cutest spring look. Next up is this gorgeous little mock turtleneck. Now in my getting ready for spring video you would have seen I added a couple of other mock turtlenecks into my wardrobe and I've already gotten so much wear out so I feel like they're perfect for this time of year because you still want to be covered, you still want to be warm but you're maybe not looking for like a full-on roll neck or like a full-on chunky knit. You want something a little bit lighter, a little bit more spring-like but you still want to stay nice and toasty warm. So it's this really gorgeous like forest green colour and it's ribbed which I I always really love in my knit when I just love the fact that it's a mock turtleneck I find them so flattering on us shorter girls so start up with slip skirts start up with wide leg trousers there's loads of different ways that you can wear these I always get so much wear out of them the cost per wear of these roll necks for me is literally on the floor because I reach for them all the time I won't lie it is my favorite thing when I do a haul and I can style all of the pieces up together this skirt is just going with absolutely everything so i've paired it with the gorgeous green mock turtlenecks as you can see it comes up quite high but it's not like choking it doesn't feel claustrophobic and it just keeps you nice and warm without being like a full roll neck around your neck it's just a really really perfect one for this time of year and it pairs so beautifully with the skirt obviously green is a little bit more of a wintry tone so i do feel like if you're adding a green jumper into your wardrobe now you need to pair it with those lighter colors the whites the creams even like beiges i think would look absolutely beautiful and again with my little Vivaya pointed toes. Oh, I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these ballet flats this spring. This is such a cute outfit. Oh, I'm really, really happy. Okay, next up is an item that's a replacement for the two that I tried from New Look that we all agreed just didn't really give. It's this gorgeous fedora, and I really, really liked it on the website. I really liked how the model was wearing it. But now that I've got it, I'm like, is it giving? Salem Witch Trials vibes. I don't know. One of my favourite things about it was this logo on the side. It's got the like River Island logo. It kind of looks a bit Loewe-esque. I really love how River Island do that. They see how designers are like styling things up and they kind of incorporate that into a much more affordable price point but still looks just as gorgeous. So I do like this. I'm just not sure if it's giving me like Salem Witch Trial vibes. Annoyingly, I can't try it on because I've obviously got my bun. So let me know your thoughts. <laughs> I mean, like that, I look like a pilgrim. But let me know your thoughts. Do we like or should I return? Next up, I picked up a pair of sports leggings. And I'm not going to lie to you, I've never tried sports leggings from River Island before. I've never tried any of their sports gear. But as I said, I really want to start incorporate spring tones into my wardrobe and those kind of like spring colours. You know I love wearing leggings and a jumper. I mean, it's literally what I've got on right now. It's just so easy to style and so easy to wear. So I wanted to add a warmer lighter more spring-like tone into my wardrobe with this pair I just thought they were so gorgeous it's like stony color it's just absolutely stunning love the fact that it's got this really lovely like elasticated waistband it's nice and thick so it holds you in but it's really really gorgeous so I picked those up because I thought this could be a great addition oh my god can we just talk about this color match so I've just put the leggings on and I've paired them with this really gorgeous jumper which I picked up from New Look you would have seen it a couple of videos ago the Mont Blanc jumper I really really like it and I thought these would pair so nicely together the only thing is, is I think these are a little bit too big I got them in a large and they're a little bit loose around the waist so if I didn't want them for a workout they would be great just like at home chill leggings but because I am wanting them to be a bit of both I think I might have to size down to a medium in them but the color is just gorgeous the fit is so lovely like they're just really high waisted super flattering they're not too long just slightly slightly loose so just to note you might want to size down in these if you are looking to wear them for a workout and i'm not gonna lie i have saved the most spring like until at last this gorgeous green printed shirt dress oh my word when it comes to spring styling i love 
a shirt dress i just find them so easy to wear so easy to style and they really are very me like quintessentially me you know i'm so protective of my own personal style and a shirt dress is just something that i love to wear now this one's a lot lighter than i was expecting but I do actually have a trip coming up at the start of March that I feel like I could wear this at somewhere a little bit warmer and a little bit brighter. So I feel like this could be really, really nice for that. I didn't actually realise, but it's this really sheer fabric and then it actually comes with a slip on the inside. But I am just so obsessed with the tones of this. The fact that you've got the like forest green with the like beigey, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's giving me like safari chic in the best way possible. I feel like there's loads of different ways you can style this up for spring and you can layer it like you can add coats over the top blazers you can even add like a jumper around your neck or you could wear it with a pair of slides if you're going somewhere hot that's all i'm going to tell you that's all i'm going to give away but i just thought this was such a gorgeous dress well, oh my goodness me have i found the spring dress of dreams now it does come with this belt but i actually think i'm going to take it off i don't think it's needed at all because it's got this really gorgeous ruche detail here which really cinches in your waist you could actually add your own belt if you wanted to but i kind of prefer it without i've paired it again with the vivaya pointed toe ballet flats they just go with absolutely everything the tones look so so beautiful together i think the only thing that would have made this better is if it didn't have a slip underneath and the material is just a little bit like thicker um but i don't mind having to wear the slip it's not a big deal i did have to take the slip like undo it from the dress because they were obviously attached and I find it so difficult to get dresses on when they've got the slip attached to it but I love the sleeves they're so beautiful the, like volume in the sleeves with this cuff detail is so lovely love the shirt I mean obviously you could do it up if you wanted a more preppy style I much prefer it a little bit more relaxed though and a little bit looser I just think it's the most beautiful dress to add into my spring wardrobe I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this and I'm definitely going to be taking it away with me when we go on holiday so keep your eyes peeled for that but for now it will be a gorgeous piece to wear here in the UK well we don't normally sit down here to have a little bit of a chat but I'm not gonna lie to you my office right now is an absolute bomb site. I actually got really inspired after doing those try-ons with the River Island pieces to create some really cute like transitional spring outfits and I'm feeling really really inspired for my new spring wardrobe and all of the outfits. I do feel like every single winter I get into such a rut with my style. I really really struggle with winter fashion because I love that like floaty feminine silhouette. I love silk skirts. I love dresses. I love like feeling feminine in my outfits and obviously when you've got so many layers on you just can't really get that across and so every January I always just get into such a like rut with what I'm wearing so it feels really nice to have some new in pieces to kind of have said goodbye to some of my items I'm maybe not wanting to wear right now and I'm wanting to kind of like get rid of so I've got a big bag of things to go to charity and I've got a bag of stuff that's going to go into storage until next year and it just feels like I'm getting a bit of a new lease of life when it comes to my styling which makes me really happy so I had an afternoon of filming and shooting and getting really inspired with all of my outfits I'm not gonna lie I'm looking very disheveled now so i think i'm gonna get my makeup off get into my comfies and have a bit of an evening on the sofa and do you know what i'm gonna like this evening this has been sitting up here pretty much since christmas because i haven't lit it yet i've been lighting my white company candle and it's lasted so long but i want something a little bit more calming tonight i feel like i'm really in the mood just to kind of switch off and zen out this is the rituals oriental vi vi vitiva v-e-t-i-v-e-r but either potentially it's a scented candle based on natural rapeseed wax and it smells oh i could literally just drink this in all evening so i think i'm gonna like this get into my comfies and just zone out for the evening so i'm going to leave this video here i really hope you guys enjoyed styling up the spring pieces with me i hope you're getting just as excited about the new season as i am i know a lot of videos at the moment have been featuring at spring updates spring styling i feel like it could potentially be a drinking game at this point how much i'm talking about spring but please don't because you will be hammered within the space of five minutes but i hope you guys have the loveliest evening if you haven't already i'd love it if you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any uploads and i will see you in the next one bye